And it's great to have you with us on a Monday night. As Tommy Morrissey will throw the ball in the air. James Karnick wins the tip, and we're off and running. We were very impressed talking with him earlier at the shoot-around. Dre Perry's shot is deflected by DeMar Lankford. Here comes his brother, Makai Ashton, in transition. Oh, he's a one-man fast break. Eagles are 6-0 at home. All their losses coming on the road. Karnick. Oh, he's industrious in the paint, isn't he? And that's going to be a common theme tonight, pounding the ball in the paint. When we coach, talked to Coach Hastings at Albany, he was concerned about that. And how about the power slam by Dre Perry? Dre Perry. Man, he rocks the rim in Chestnut Hill. Albany, the early lead. Dre Perry. One of three transfers making an impact. The three is good by Matt Cerruti. That's his game. We saw Karnick play so well last Friday here on the ACC Network against Notre Dame, 17 and 13. And that's put up and in. Continuing to grow our culture, our maturity, our competence. Good start at six and four, but a lot of work to do. And the jump hook by DeMar Lankford after the timeout. Turns around and beats Kentucky, so again, he's doing some nice things early on, but uh, he was concerned coming into this game about the slow start. You can see right now, Albany. Quinton Post in the Eagles lineup. He's a seven-foot transfer from Mississippi State. Good ball movement. Jaden Zachary, he's got it from three. Beautiful pass that time by Quinton Post. Boston College is going to have to figure out a way to get the ball into the paint. It was a good block by Zachary triggering the break. Damar Lankford rejected out of bounds. Moving his feet and then out in transition. Uh, that's pretty good recovery right there. Post guarding Paul Newman just in the game. The Bucknell transfer, pretty move. Doubled for a moment. Good crossover by Neely. What a dump off to Paul Newman. They're a competent team, and they lead by six. Zachary to the rack. Aggressive drive for the freshman. He's got quite a handle, too. Post fakes the three. Good ball movement. Zachary three, and he hits it. Best ball movement. Made difficult shots like that. Pretty good defense, though, by Langford. And there you go for a three. That's the first lead for the Eagles since the 17-24 mark. Big fella showing some range. Three is good. That's Trey Hutchinson is off the schneid. The junior from Marion, Iowa. That's excellent offense. Again, a guy that's shooting 36% from the three-point line. A Boston College needs to communicate on any screens with him involved. But Quentin Post... Goes to work again in the post. Definitely not me, but uh, certainly containing dribble drives was also a concern as we take a look at a dribble drive uh, for O'Grant. He said, look, we have to stop. What about the hometown rims? Yeah, that one right there. Excellent move by Langford. There's a three. Perry. Guarded by Jaden Zachary with four to shoot, the fadeaway. Oh man, he is unplussed, isn't he? Perry played many big games at Temple. And there's a good teardrop by Matt Cerruti. High percentage shot by DeMar Langford. Loose ball, and he picks it up. Kai Ashton Langford. Oh, wow, did he maneuver well. Otherwise, played pretty well for BC in the first half. That one, though, not a good possession. BC made three of 17 against St. Louis and an open three for Matt Cerruti. As I mentioned, Malcolm, BC 30% shooting the three of the last four. And the steal and power slam by DeMar Langford. Four-second differential shot clock, game clock. Paul Newman to Cerruti. Good ball fake. And the three. Matt Cerruti is a house on fire at St. Louis. He averages over 11 to his brother, Jamar Langford, and he nails it. Bickerstaff to Karnick, who was calling for it. Wanted the jump hook. Gobbles the rebound, and he puts it in. Play some offense from there, but they need to get stops. 
and it starts with this guy right here, getting him against Dre Perry. And that's exactly what you ordered, Dre Perry. Good pass by Zachary to Ashton Lankford, but he passed up the shot. Now he takes it, and he makes it. Makai Ashton Lankford dialing long distance. Bickerstaff. Nice pass for Post, the up and under, and the two. Off the Albany bench, he's a Loyola. Baltimore transfer, here's a jumper by Tamar Lankford to tie it up. Uh, really a dominant player for Boston College. How about the hand going down the lane by Tamar Lankford? That was nifty. First lead for the Eagles, Malcolm, since 6.34 remained in the first half. Dre Perry. Oh, he has always had the answer throughout the night. Hey, Perry just bulldogged his way down there. Big boy move and went right up over him. Quentin Post, the hook, and the hometown rim. He may have been tempted once or twice. <laughs> Trey Perry from the elbow. Nice pass to the cutting Trey Hutchinson. That was pretty. The refs, John, you can tell, trying to tighten up uh, the post defense, but again, in transition. Eagles are undefeated at home at 6-0. Kanye Jones and the putback by Quinton Post. He always has great position down low. In the offseason in the transfer portal. Not right now. Horton behind the back and a pretty elbow shot. Crossover. Takes it and makes it. Dre Perry on Bickerstaff. Newman, the beneficiary of the loose ball, and he puts it up and in. I think the biggest thing is three-point shooting and leadership. No foul. Instead, a dime drop by Jamel Horton to Jarvis Doles. Contact by DeMar Lankford. I'm with you. Drive by Makai Ashton Lankford in an M1. Tomorrow, Lang for transition opportunity. Jaden Zachary eyes the three and buys the three. Shot clock drained to four. Neely down the lane, muscling through, and he puts it in. His brother, a football player at the University of Miami, would have been happy with that. Brought a new mentality to the capital region. Perry, the fadeaway. Oh, man, he's been tenacious. He's a problem. Dunks, that right there, ISO, and I'm just going to raise up over you. Zachary the drive, and he converts. Do not settle for a jumper. Get the ball into the paint. Teardrop by Zachary. And Zachary inbounds the lob for Post, who converts. Why not throw it up to the seven-footer? Albany has turned it over five times. BC has 13 turnovers. and set up your defense. Rebound by Bickerstaff. They're seven for 11 this evening. Especially because BC only has four fouls as Hutchinson runs the baseline for Perry. Perry gets trapped. Steal by Makai Ashton Lankford to Zachary. Blocked on the weak side by Dre Perry. Or also TJ Bickerstaff open for a three. Inside, Lankford flummoxed. Just got to watch out for any home run play. Chucky Champion guarded by Bickerstaff and Tamar Lankford out of bounds. Tamar Lankford to inbound. Jaden Zachary. Zachary driving. Puts it up, no good. Rebound for Saruti, and he's fouled. Big miss. He gets the rebound, though. And Albany's going to kill the clock, and they're going to walk out of Chestnut Hill with a stunning victory.